Right, okay guys, Liberty Falls. Oh my god, we're actually playing this map. We're finally playing this map. God, I remember seeing this map at first and I'm not gonna lie, thinking kind of, I don't know, plain, but I played this map a little bit and it's kind of grew on me, I'd say, not too much, but a little bit. Let's just say that. But today's video, we're going to be trying to complete the Easter egg on Liberty Falls. Um, we've practiced a little bit on some of the Easter egg steps, and it's actually pretty cool, you know? But yeah, I mean, rather than seeing the map and actually playing the map now, it has a, like, a little bit more of a different view, I would say that, you know? Like, in terms of atmosphere, I would say, like, I don't know, all the cars being destroyed... It, it, it does feel like an apocalypse. Let's just say that. In my opinion, it feels like an apocalypse. I think the only thing they could do is just, like, give a little bit of mist and smoke in the air. You know what I mean? I think that would be pretty cool for this map. It's not too bad. We've got the Mr. Ruffle Waffles guide on our tab. So if we do need any help, we should be all good. Um, let's see. So, yeah, let's open up this door first. Now, the first part we're going to be having to obtain is going to be a, a, a fuse of something. I don't know, a fuse... It's one of the parts. It's, a, it's up a tube up there. We have to find that. I don't know how many steps in total this map has to complete the Easter egg, but um, obviously between the two, with Liberty Falls and Terminus, Liberty Falls is the easier map between both of them. Who knows? We might give it a try with completing the Terminus Easter egg, see if we can try and get down onto that. That would be pretty interesting. Okay, nice. Let's do that. That should be all good. Yeah, so... With this game, we're definitely going to need to stock up with health, perks, you know, like armor plates and stuff. Who knows what's going to happen, man. Uh, manglers on this game are not too overpowered, I would say. If you have the right guns, the right weapons with the right upgrades on them, you should be all good. I think the most biggest threat on this map is probably the, um, the Abomination. The weird three-headed looking creature. It's a bit like a... I don't even know how you could say it. If a Merg were... I don't know, mingled with another boss, you know, and it kind of <laughs> kind of came out to that, the, the boss we have now. I guess that's what you could put it as, you know? Oh, there we go. Nice one, right. And so the first part we need to get over here is this water valve. That's it, the water valve over there. And we need to bring this water valve into where the bowling alley is located. All right, okay, so yeah, this is the next area we have to go to, the bowling alley. So we need to place the valve. I guess in this little, I don't know, fuse area. I don't know if we can do it now, because this part is quite lengthy. Yeah, look at this, dude. You have to be a bit careful, man. Oh, my God. Okay, right, let's just quickly just do this real quick. Go, go, go. Just under halfway. Oh, they're coming in. Yeah, they're coming in, dude. They're coming in. God, we got to be fast as possible with this little step, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. We're so close. We're so close to this. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. I've done that stuff a couple of times now. And trying to get that valve bar all the way up, all in one, is impossible. Like, you need to take your time there, you know? Hopefully, that does give you guys a bit of, I guess help if you guys are trying to do this step oh yeah i did forget as well we've just got one of the parts there we go so i believe this is the parts for the jet gun as you see we've gotten one part out of three parts in order to craft the jet gun and we're just going to be getting over to the second part now all right so the next step that we've been told that we have to do is we need to acquire a mangler cannon or a mutant injection when using them one of them two we have to blow this door off and so i believe we need to find wire parts a, a, a piece of wire in that room and uh, that'll be the second part but i guess between that let's try and get jug we're gonna need jug man it's gonna be essential for this game you know i do like how accessible the perks are like it's not too much of a a grind to, I don't know, find the, the perk locations. You don't have to remember a ton. I guess with Liberty Falls being a casual-based map, you know, that feature is good. Right, okay, so we've just acquired the Mangler Cannon. Okay, let's have a look. Right, we've just opened up that door right there. We're going to save this 
Mangler Cannon. I, I feel like if we keep using it, then there might be another step that we have to do that will involve, a few, uh, involve us using the Mangler Cannon. So we're just going to save it. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Oh, is that an insta-kill? Nice, dude. Nice one. Right, let's get that. All right, nice. Okay, we've got one more zombie left. That's great. With this step, we apparently we need to find... Oh my god, what the hell? Jesus Christ. That didn't really scare me, but it was it was definitely out of the blue. But yes, with this step, we need to do, guys. We need to find a piece of wire, apparently. And oh, oh lo and behold, we've just found it. I thought that would have been harder than, than expected. I'm not going to lie. So, oh, okay, there we go. Right, yeah. We just got the wire for the jet gun and now the meter. I guess you could call it a meter gouge. I don't know. One more part. We can now craft the jet gun, dude. We've already got enough points for that. It, before we actually go to the church, let's spin a gobble gun. Find a gun we can get. Anywhere but here? That would be perfect for this game, actually. See what this place is like, man. Dude, I like that. Skybox. Got like, I don't know, all these shards that are floating around. Oh my god, man. So, yes, this is one of the things that we can in interact with. I believe this is this this is to do with the Easter egg. Your project data security, yes? A so called rapid response team. Hmm. Someone called Thanos. <laughs> Interesting. But I knew you would come. Oh, yeah, he lands over here. Heracles Panos. I used to oversee dimensional research at Project Janus. And this is a little pocket of perdition that, unlike you, I am quite unable to leave. Okay. Somehow my dimensional resonance got uh, reset when we tried to close the breach. I think it is the dark ether. Oh. Now, <laughs> now that you Interesting. So, is he stuck in this form, this this type of entity, I guess? I don't know. So, we just got to get a whole lot of parts and craft a whole lot of times, and we might be able to get this guy out, on, I suppose. You know, taking a look at the church area, it looks really nice. Let's just start off with that, you know. I remember when this area was first shown in pictures and stuff, everyone was thinking, ah, oh, Buried's going to be remastered because this looked quite similar to the church and buried you know but it's pretty cool how you've got the cold war pack punch machine just chilling over there unfortunately we do not have enough points to pack punch but we will be upgrading the asg this thing is honestly a, a beast bingo this sunday okay holly falls house of worship well unless they're worshiping the dead i don't know as we see as well, though, we've got the new perk, the Melee Machito, or Machiato. I've seen people use this perk before. I mean, we've used it as well. It's not too bad, man. I think the meleeing on this game is a little bit too delayed. Like, they need to speed up the melee. And not even just on the perk we get that increases our melee power, but just meleeing in general. Because by the time our hand's just midway through punching them, they've already hit us. You know what I mean? All right, okay, so we've just gotten done with activating, I guess, this generator, from what it seems, doing this step. Now, I'm pretty sure the next step we have to do is hover around the graveyard, and there will be a special zombie that will spawn, and we'll have to kill it. It won't look special, it'll just be a normal fucking zombie. It, the zombie's called the Groundskeeper, so I guess it'll have Groundskeeper on top of its head. We'll, we'll be able to know which one it is. Oh, is that the groundskeeper? That is! Oh my god. I was literally getting speed curler, and it was a uh, spider round. What the hell? I didn't even know the guy spawned in. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, yeah, th there we go. We've got three parts for the jet gun. All we need to do now is go over to this little shed, unlock this door, and lo and behold, we've got the last part for the wave gun. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have used the jet gun on this game, but compared to the transit version, this this wonder weapon is definitely an upgrade from the original. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to have a look at it, man. It's honestly amazing. I can imagine a lot of people have been playing BO6 recently, so I crap, 
Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe we've just died there. What? You guys skedaddling? What the hell? What are you doing? Brother. That actually caught us off guard, man. I'm not even going to lie. Bro. Back to the jet gun. If you guys haven't seen or used the jet gun, it, it's definitely an upgrade from the original, you know. Transit jet gun. We don't even need to explain what it was like. It broke within seconds of using it. I've tried using the original jet gun. It's just not good. But take a look at this. Oh, my God, dude. It just sucks them, bro. It sucks all the energy out of them, man. Brother. If you're surprised about that killing effect, there's more. There is definitely more. <laughs> we still have to wait for this thing to recharge real quick. Oh, here we go. The recharging on it is very fast. Compared to original, incredibly fast. Probably 100 times faster, to say the least, you know? I mean, just look at that. Talk about mayhem, you know? All right, okay. Let's get stamina up. We're going to want extra running speed. Let's upgrade our ASG. Hey, man, this thing's going to be really handy for us. But let's get down to the next step. So the next one, we need to suck up three parts that are hovering. The first one is right around here. And the last two parts are going to be down near the bottom of the map. Okay, so you've got that one. The last part, I mean, is over here. Got to be hovering to us. And there we go. A good workspace. Doctor, you make suggestions. You don't give orders. Hmm. Ah, so that Panos is a doctor, like, I guess, like, a scientist? Ah, huh, okay. But we're going to head over near the beginning of the map. It'd be really nice to get some shields in, some armor plates. The cost for the plates are rather pricey. They're not cheap, by any means. Oh, I see. So we have to go onto there? Right, okay, okay. I do like how they brought in these uh I, I don't know how you could call them ah oh, zip lines i think it's pretty cool that they introduced them back in obviously they're from cold war or i guess originally it would be bo1 because bo1 had zip lines but cold war kind of brought the style of these zip lines in and yeah this is the workbench we need to go over to for avenging the lpg device Kind of okay. Don't you? Kind of. Like I said, I'm not really too much of an Easter egg kind of player. I could give a good thought of what we have to use of it because I've seen some of the steps. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to go over here. And this is what the storms are used for. Oh my god, dude. Okay, right. We're going full train mode here. Get that guy out of the way. Oh shit, bro. No, 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 no. Safe while it opens a gateway. Oh, safe. Yeah, yeah. Try again. Ah, oh, damn it. Did we not do it? No. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's fair. That's fair. Come on. Need a recharge. There we go. Right. Let's get the chopper gunner. See if this will work, I'd say, guys. Let's have a look. So hopefully, this will be to our advantage here. I don't, know, I don't even know how much time we've got in this thing. Oh, yeah, dude, we're really doing it. 24 seconds? No. I don't know if this is really a good idea. Using anything to our advantage. There we go. Nice. We have actually got it done. That is really good to see. We clutched it up with that gunner chopper. I'm not even going to lie, man. We could probably do that again, actually. There we go. All right, yeah. When, once picking up this path, we can't run. We need to, we need to walk. Oh, wait. Can we use the zip line? No way we can as well. Is this zip line going to break? Because we're carrying this freaking massive drill. In the guide, it's shown we need to go over here and plant it. Drop here. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Right. Okay, we've just seen him. So what we need to do is just put this trap on when he's near us. Come on, big guy. Yeah, you can see he looks different. Like he's not... He's not like the same from the other ones. Oh, can, we, can, we, can we do it like this? Oh my god. I don't know if it was a good time to do it right now. Oh no. Oh no, we're looking pretty low. He's gone. He's done. Oh my god. Dark ether energy leaking. Oh no, dude. You're joking me. We just walk it through. If we can not get caught... We are looking really good. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. We've got this. We've got this. 
We're just entering the church now. Nice. Perfect. Come on. We've got this now. We've got this. Oh, we have returned into the Mangala. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude, they're draining it like it's anything. I'm already there. Oh, no. No, no. I think it's screwed. Joe? Oh. Yes. One out of three. Okay. That's good. That's good. God, is that a red mangler? That is. What the heck? This boss is just crazy. Let's quickly get an upgrade for our ASG. Let's get this gun leveled up. See if this will work. Oh, too sharp. That's not bad. I love the back of bunch camos for these guns, though. They're interesting, you know? It's you got like two types of colors, two types of textures on it. It's pretty cool, man. All we need to do is just put this trap on. So, yeah, yeah, it's just down here. Oh, we're running his health down a little bit. Oh, my God. It was that fast? <laughs> right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to have to be fast here because these spiders mean business. That's an order, copy. I thought back then when we was bringing it from the Starling Room, we had n we would have no chance. Apparently, we have got the boss fight left to do, guys. So, there we go. Nice one. We, we just had enough, dude. Oh, my God. I was, I was kind of tempted on getting PhD, but I kind of thought to leave it. We haven't even upgraded the jet gun. Haven't even upgraded this thing, man. A little bit unfortunate, but, hey, at least we're close to this Easter egg, I guess. All right. Okay. Let's go. Right, let's plant this bad boy here. Let's go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we've got a mangle coming after us. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is getting a bit intense. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we're looking all good. The sentry gun is really helping out. W sentry gun. Oh my god. There we go, there we go. Get out of here, get out of here, go. Right, nice one. I don't know if we've done it or not. The doors seem to be closed on all sides. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Whoa. Oh no. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. I do not care for a gobble gum right now. <laughs> wow. Oh no, dude. Did we not complete it? <laughs> oh, bro. You're joking me, man. Look, we got all the steps done. It's just the boss fight, dude. It's that boss fight you've got to do. I've, I've had fun. I've had fun. Could could we classify that as uh, as an Easter egg? Not complete, but like kind of been through it kind of thing. But hey, if you guys did enjoy this video and are new to the channel, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated for the channel's growth. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one.